Um, thank you for your patience. We're pulling our panel together. Um, I'm Steve Erlanger with the, with the New York Times. Um, anyway, we're here to talk about the Middle East. We don't any longer have very much time. We have an hour. Um, and so I want to get right to it. As the only American on the panel, um, no, I'm an American. there's quite a lot to talk about. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to begin by saying, as much as we've talked about Donald Trump, to me he's done two things. There are two coherent policies, whether we agree with them or not. One is about China, and one is about the Middle East, where he has thrown the power of the United States very clearly on the side of the Sunnis against Iran. Um, he's done that in a big change from the Obama period, embraced Bibi Netanyahu, but also embraced, as we know, uh, Mohammed bin Salman um, and Jared Kushner's special friend. So we'll see what will happen after the despicable murder of my colleague, Jamal Khashoggi, um, but I think as we all know, the Middle East is pretty muddled these days, and so there's quite a lot to talk about. So first, I'm going to sit down and ask Renaud Girard to begin. Thank you.